Hello students, I have come here in front of you with some other topic which is very very important from board point of view. In the earlier session, we have already discussed the effect of capacitance of a panel plate capacitor where a conducting slab is introduced. Right? In that case, we have proved that the net capacitance tends to increase. Now in this episode, what we are going to discuss is the effect on the capacitance of a paddle pit capacitor on the introduction of a dielectric slab. Right? So dielectric slab, all the terms, definitions associated to that, it has already been discussed in the previous sessions. So we are in a position to do this article. And mark my words, this is a very very important article from board exam point of view. Right? So let's discuss it. Suppose this is a paddle pit capacitor of cross-sectional area A and suppose the distance between the plates is D. It has got a positive charge density and it has got negative charge density. Now you are aware of the principle of capacitor. When an earth connected uncharged conductor is placed near a charged conductor, then the potential of the charged conductor decreases drastically and accordingly the capacitance increases tremendously. So it is the principle on which the working of capacitor is based upon. Right? Suppose it is air or vacuum and the field is which is acting from positive to negative it is E naught and E naught we are aware it is given by sigma by epsilon. Sigma is surface charge that is charge per unit area. We are aware of it. In case of air or vacuum, in case of air or vacuum, suppose the capacitance is C naught, it is charge over potential difference is V naught. The potential difference across the plates of the capacitor. In case the space between the plates is filled with air or vacuum, right? So, V naught we are aware. In case of uniform field, it is strength of the field multiplied by the distance up to which this field is effective. In this case, it is effective up to distance P. Right? This is the crucial point. So, if you substitute this value over here, we get T naught with sigma by epsilon into T. You can substitute the value of sigma over here, which is surface charge density, charge per unit area. Now substitute this value of V naught over here. So from 1 and 2, what we get is the capacitance of a parapet capacitor, it will be given by Q divided by QD divided by epsilon A, which will give us C naught is equal to epsilon A. A by D. This we have done previously as well, right? This is the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor when the space between its plates is filled with air or vacuum. So this is the original case. Now what we will do is we will place a dielectric slab. This is a dielectric slab suppose of thickness P and less than D. D is the separation between the plates and it is introduced in this space between the plates of the capacitor, right? So this is a dielectric slab, remember students, it's a dielectric slab and this is the external field E0, this field I am talking about and these two plates having surface charge density of plus sigma and minus sigma cross the area will remain same, isn't it? So now what happens is, this being a dielectric slab, we are aware in a dielectric slab, when it is placed under the influence of applied field, the net electric field inside the slab gets reduced. And that net reduced electric field is given by E equals to E0 minus EP. E is the reduced electric field, E0 is the applied field, and EP students, you must remember, EP is the electric field due to polarization. And if K is the dielectric constant of this dielectric slab, then dielectric constant of this dielectric slab is given by the ratio of the strength of the applied field to the net reduced value of the electric field. This also we should be aware of before doing this article. Right? So what I need to say is that in this region, in this region, the electric field which exists is E dot. This is the electric field which exists in this region, which is D minus T. So in the region D minus T, electric field E0 exists. 
while in the region P electric field E exists. E exists up to this distance, up to distance T. So here also the capacitance would be given by Q by V. Put this as one dash. V is the potential difference across the plates in this case. That is when a dielectric slab is introduced between its plates, right? So what about V then? Potential difference across the plates. Consider on this. Potential difference when the field is uniform in that given region is given by the strength of the field multiplied by the distance up to which the field is effective, right? In this case, E0 was the field and it was effective for distance D. Here there are two fields. In distance D minus T, the field effective is E0, while in the distance T, the field effective is E. So now, on the introduction of the dielectric slab, the potential difference across the plates of the capsule would be given by E0. It is effective for distance D minus T. Plus this field, which is the net field inside the dielectric slab, which is known as reduced electric field. This field is effective up to distance T, which is the thickness of the slab. So this is the most important step, right? Now we can simply substitute the value and we can get the result. Let's do it. So V, it will be equal to E0, it can be taken as common. So D minus T plus E by E0 into T. Still further, E0, it is the applied field and applied field we are aware, sigma by epsilon. So it is sigma by Absolute. D minus T plus E0 by E is K, E0 by E is K, so it can be written as T by K, where capital K is the dielectric constant of this dielectric slab under conservation. Still further, sigma is charged for unit area, so it is D minus T plus T by so put this as second dash. Now what we do is, we can easily substitute the value of V from second dash in equation one dash. Let's see what is the result which we are going to obtain. So, <clears throat> let's substitute this value of V over here. So from one dash and two dash we get C is equal to Q by V dash, Q by V, that is Q by epsilon A, D minus T plus T by K. So Q, Q get cancelled, so what do you get? Absolute A divided by D minus T plus T by K. Put this as B. So students, this is the expression for the capacitance of a parallel capacitor when a dielectric slab of thickness T less than D is introduced in the space between its plates. Right? Now we need to conclude what is the overall effect of introducing this dielectric slab, whether the capacitance increases, decreases or remains constant. So let's check it out. Let's compare these two equations A and B. Look, the numerator of both these are equal. Let's consider on the denominator part. It is D and over it is D minus T plus T by K. As you are aware, for any medium, K is greater than 1. So this term would be less than T. So what I mean to say is that the denominator in equation B is less than the denominator in equation A. So what we conclude is C is greater than C naught. So students, what's the conclusion? On the introduction of a dielectric slab, the net capacitance of the capacitor increases. So whether we are introducing a conducting slab or we are introducing a dielectric slab, in both the cases, the net capacitance of the capacitor tends to increase. We can also verify this statement. I mean, we can consider a special case and then we can come across again mathematically we can verify this statement. What we'll do is let's consider dielectric slab of thickness equal to.
the separation between the two plates of the capacitor. What I need to say is that let the entire space between the plates of the capacitor be totally occupied, be totally covered or filled with this guy. So P equals to D, right? So simply substitute P equals to D over here. What do you get? Absolute A divided by D minus D plus D by A. D minus D will get cancelled. So we get K epsilon A by D. Put this as C. So now compare A and C. What do you get? C is equal to K C dot. Since K is greater than 1. I have told you, in case of air or vacuum, K is 1. In case of conductor, K is infinite. In case of any other insulator, the value of K is greater than 1, less than infinity. Right? So, for any medium, K is greater than 1. Therefore, C is greater than C naught. Right? So, the net capacitance of a capacitor definitely increases when a conducting slab or a dielectric slab is introduced in the space between its plates. So this is how also the dielectric constant can be defined. The dielectric constant of a dielectric or a medium can also be defined as the ratio of the capacitance of the capacitor when the medium is introduced to the capacitance of the capacitor when the space is filled with air or vacuum. Right? So students, please do remember all these concepts, right? They are very, very important articles. Actually, what we can do is, in order to uh, clarify certain things, we can consider a simple illustration, right? Let's consider numerical based on this particular topic. So please listen to me very carefully. What we do is, let's consider let us consider a capacitor, a parallel plate capacitor and suppose a dielectric slab, a dielectric slab of thickness 4 mm, a dielectric slab of thickness 4 mm is introduced in the space between the plates of the capacitor. Now, in order that the capacitance of the capacitor remain unchanged, the separation between the plates is changed by 3.2 mm. Separation between the plates changed by 3.2 mm. So as to keep the capacitance of the capacitor constant. So the question is, we are supposed to find out the dielectric constant of this slab. Right? This is the question. Students, it's a very, very interesting and very good conceptual question. In order to solve such questions, you need to have your theoretical knowledge. You have to clear, you have to make yourself clear about all the theoretical concepts. It is only then you will be successful in attempting such questions, right? So I repeat the question. A capacitor is given, right? And a dielectric slab of 4 mm thickness is introduced between it. So obviously the capacitance will change, it will increase just now we have done it. Now even after placing the dielectric slab, the capacitance should be kept constant. So for that, the distance with the plates needs to be changed. So the distance with the plates is changed by 3.2 mm so as to keep the capacitance of the capacitor constant even after the introduction of the dielectric slab. So this is the given condition. Using this condition, we are supposed to find the dielectric constant of the slab. Right? So first point. Suppose this is, this is a parallel plate capacitor having distance D in the case of air or vacuum in the case of air or vacuum. So what is the capacitance over here? It is epsilon A by D. No doubt regarding this. Right? This is first scenario. Second is on introducing a dielectric slab. Suppose there is a dielectric slab of thickness T. It is introduced. 
Now on the introduction of the dielectric slab, what will happen? The capacitance will increase. Now capacitance will increase, but we need to keep the capacitance constant even after the introduction of the dielectric slab. So how the distance between the plates is to be changed? So the increase in the capacitance due to the introduction of the dielectric slab can be compensated by increasing the distance between the plates. So now the distance between the plates is increased by how much? 3.2 millimeters. So now the distance is d plus 3.2. Let's consider it to be in millimeter. So the new distance is suppose d dash. Again, I am repeating. If I introduce the conducting slab or dielectric slab over here, the net capacitance increases. But in this portion, the capacitance is to be kept constant. So introducing the dielectric slab will definitely increase the capacitance. But how to compensate all that increase in the capacitance? By increasing the plate separation. Because it is inversely proportional to plate separation. On increasing the plate separation, the capacitance will decrease. Right? So, on the introduction of the dielectric slab, the plate separation here must be increased and as per the question it is increased by 3.2 mm. So if earlier distance was D, now the new distance will be D plus 3.2 mm. That is D dash. Now what is the new capacitance over here? The formula is epsilon A divided by D dash, that is the new distance, plus T plus T by K. In fact, d dash minus t plus t by t. That's the formula. Just now we have discussed this particular formula. On the introduction of the dielectric slab, the new capacitance of the capacitor is given by this formula. Right? This is t. As per the question, the capacitance is constant. Therefore, c must be equal to c naught. So let's solve it. So c it's absolute a divided by d dash in millimeters we are the same unit so no need to change d plus 3.2 minus what is t thickness 4 I am taking it into millimeter plus 4 by k it is equal to absolute a by d that is clear absolute a absolute a get cancelled taking reciprocal mode get this d plus 3.2 minus 4 plus 4 by k is equal to d. d d get cancelled. So 4 by k is equal to 3.2 minus 4 would be minus 0.8 and if we take that term towards right hand side we will get 0 0.8. Right? So k is equal to 4 divided by 0 0.8 or 40 divided by 8 which is equal to 5. So students, the dielectric constant of the dielectric slab must be 5. So this was a very very important question, right? It was entirely based on your theoretical knowledge. So as I have always advised you, do practice more and more numericals. It is only then you will gain in confidence. So for today it is more than sufficient, we will continue in the next session.